our beloved Reverend Inchon Kim, President of H.J. Chonbo Asia Pacific Branch, my dear leaders, beloved brothers and sisters from Heavenly Asia Pacific. Anyong hasiyo. How are you, my dear brothers and sisters? Thank you so much for joining us in this 2020 Asia Pacific Tour Hyojong Chonbo online event. Because of the grace from our heavenly parent and true parents, we could participate in this online Chonbo event, even in this very challenging situation that we are facing now because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Are you happy that you are able to join this online event? Let us express our appreciation to our heavenly parents and true parents by giving them a big round of applause. My dear brothers and sisters, we are truly living in a very special time in the providence. We can see the seriousness and the urgency of our beloved true mother in order to accomplish everything within the second seven year course until the year 2027. As True Mother said, Heavenly Parent cannot wait any longer. Indeed, our True Mother wanted to firmly establish everything during the seven years, including the settlement of our blessed families as citizens of Chonilguk. True Parents bestow the precious blessing of Chonbo registration so that all our families can directly attend and resonate with our Heavenly Parent. That is why last October 10th, the very historic Grand Chonbo Festival was held. This is the first time in history since the fall of Adam and Eve that as human beings, we as blessed families, officially heavenly parent and true parents as the Messiah can proclaim and recognize families who have completed the 5% human portion of responsibility. This is truly amazing and unprecedented event worthy of grand celebration both here in the physical world and in the, in the spiritual world. How much our heavenly parent have waited for this day to happen. During the grand Chonbo celebration, our beloved true mother proclaimed before heaven and earth that the Chonbo couples are the true citizens of Chonil Guk. True Mother made it clear that Chonbo registered families are the perfected citizens of Chonil Guk. This being so, all our blessed families who have been registered in Chonbo 1 are truly the ancestors of faith centering on the realm of Chonil Guk. And this should be the goal of all filial sons and daughters of our heavenly parent and true parents. Adieu. And today, in this online Chonbo event, we are so blessed that another grace was given to our blessed families and our members to continue with the liberation and blessing of their ancestors. Based on the incredible amount of tearful prayers, chongsong, and sincere devotion that our beloved true parents have offered before heaven, the great Chongpyong works could begin in 1995. Tremendous tears were, up, were put out by our true parents as they repent on behalf of the world and made solemn covenant to God, pledging for the realization of God's will on earth and in heaven in a life and death determination. True parents were motivated to resolve the complicated problems of our, of our ancestors that is tied to our blessed families on the earth. It is because of these sincere conditions that now we could receive the grace of liberating ourselves from evil and resentful spirits and allow the liberation and blessing of our ancestors and for them to become blessed, absolute good spirits. In this era of our true parents' direct dominion, the H.J. Chonbo Providence has expanded so much 
because of the opening of the Chonbo Regional Branches based on the instruction of our true mother. Through this, the providence of expanding the realm of goodness in the spiritual world could be accelerated and greatly support the works of the heavenly tribal messiahs on the earth. You know, the desire of our heavenly parent is to firmly establish the heavenly unified cosmos. That means the kingdom of heaven both on the earth and in the spiritual world. To do so, all blessed families are given the heavenly mandate to expand the realm of Chonbo, both in the physical world and in the spiritual world. That is why we all have that responsibility to both witness vertically and horizontally. That means we all have to become victorious heavenly tribal messiahs by restoring and blessing our 430 couples and also by liberating and blessing 430 generations of ancestors. As the Bible said, whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. This emphasizes the need to expand both heavenly parents' realm, both in the spirit world and in the physical world. Our vertical and horizontal missions are indeed interconnected. True Mother also emphasized about this point during the victory celebration held last October 11th, when she said, Hence, all blessed couples around the world, of course, need to fulfill their responsibility as tribal messiahs and become couples that are inducted as chonbo. And they should not stop there, but continue to advance for generations to come. As chonbo couples, how much have you expanded your domain here on the earth during this time that true mother, God's only begotten daughter, has been with you? This will become your asset in the eternal world. My dear brothers and sisters, what is the basis of our completion of our 5% portion of responsibility? First, it is by fulfilling our HTM mission vertically. That is by completing the liberation and blessing of 430 generations of our ancestors. Through this, we can stand as representatives of our heavenly parent and true parents as we participate in God's total providence for the sake of the liberation of all mankind, including in the spiritual world. Adieu. At the same time, as we liberate and bless our ancestors, we are actually opening the way for them to also participate in God's total providence. Isn't it that when our ancestors are liberated and then blessed, they become blessed absolute good spirits. Then they would come down and live together with us, cooperate together with us so that they can actively participate in God's total providence. They will be so excited to be mobilized in order to work and cooperate with us on the earth. We are opening the way in order to let all our ancestors come down to the earth and help in our mission in completing our portions of responsibility. Adieu. True Father have emphasized about this point when he said, So far, your ancestors have nothing to do with God's entire providence of restoration. However, once you restore your tribe through fulfilling of the tribal messiahship and accomplish the responsibility of a true tribal parent, then finally let the good saints in the spiritual world restore together with you, which is really privileged grace. Therefore, enormous number of good ancestors can come again to this physical world. You know, our beloved true mother also have emphasized this point during the True Father's 1,000th Day Memorial Celebration. Mother said, this is the responsibility that you have been blessed with as blessed families. That is why 
we need to expand the good spiritual heavenly sphere. And we do this by increasing the people who are on the side of God. The people who are living centered on true parents. This is our blessing, our responsibility. Depending on whether we accomplish this responsibility or not, true father can expand his influence all over the world and be more active around the world. So centering on ancestors' point of view, if they attend ancestors' liberation and blessing ceremony for them, this is truly an eternal festival and grand celebration in the spiritual world. How much incredible joy is this, is this for our ancestors who have suffered for so long in the spiritual world. It is because of this that you as their descendants who saved them will truly be recognized as the eternal ancestors centering on Chonil Gu. So all your 430 generations of ancestors will surely be eternally be grateful to you. Aju? Many of you have realized how painful and sorrowful is the heart of our heavenly parent, right? It is painful for our heavenly parent to see his beloved sons and daughters suffering in hell. You have to think that through your participation in this ancestor's liberation and ancestor's blessing, you are actually helping in liberating our heavenly parent's sorrowful heart. Isn't it? That as long as our ancestors and many people remain in hell, our heavenly parent's heart remains in hell. Even though God is an omnipotent and almighty God, he cannot liberate his own sorrowful heart. Our heavenly parent can only liberate them through us because of the grace given to us by our victorious true parents. We can become mediators and liberators of our ancestors on behalf of true parents. This is the reason why our true parents emphasize the fulfillment of our mission as heavenly tribal messiahs, not only horizontally blessing 430 couples, but also vertically by blessing 430 generations of our ancestors. Adieu. As True Mother had emphasized in her message given in 2018, she said, I don't want to see any single member fail to fulfill to become victorious heavenly tribal messiah. Make sure not a single person, not a single tribe should be left behind. All should become children of God. Everyone should belong to God. This is the natural desire of our true mother. This is the natural desire of any parent for his children. And this is the wish and the heart embodied by our true mother coming from the heart of our heavenly parents so that all blessed central families can become noble Chonbo families. My dear brothers and sisters, your participation in this sacred activity opens new channel for God to bless you and your family more abundantly and to help you fulfill victoriously your mission on the earth. Let us not waste this tremendous grace from heaven. Let us harness, therefore, this great support from spiritual world and seriously fulfill our mission as heavenly tribal messiahs blessing our 430 couples, taking care of them, educating them, and then blessing 430 generations of our ancestors. But even as we accomplish our mission as heavenly tribal messiahs vertically and horizontally, our responsibility does not stop from there. Our beloved true mother has commissioned us to help expand the realm of Chonbo, True Mother said that our blessings are not meant to be kept only as Chonbo families, but they are meant to be shared in order to expand worldwide the realm of Chonbo families 
on the earth. That is why, as filial sons and daughters, we have to continue to help and encourage all other blessed families to be registered in Chonbo Won. As Dr. Young would always remind us many times, we should not forget about the concept of total salvation. This is the hope, this is the vision of our heavenly parent and our true parents. As a parent, God wanted all his sons and daughters to be restored. As filial children, we need to carry the same heart for total salvation. Ultimately, our goal is to become divine sons and daughters in the cosmos. What does this mean? What does becoming divine sons and daughters mean? It means that if heavenly parent is thinking of cosmic restoration, then I should also have concern for cosmic restoration. That is restoration both in the physical world and in the spiritual world. Aju, my dear brothers and sisters, no matter what, we always have to think how we can liberate God's agonizing and sorrowful heart. We have to become filial sons and daughters who can open the way for our heavenly parents to have that tearful reunion with all his lost sons and daughters. Can you imagine how much God has been longing for his children? Can you imagine for 6,000 years, God has been longing for his lost sons and daughters and carried that agony in his heart. That is why through the accomplishment of our mission as heavenly tribal messiahs, vertically and horizontally, we are helping God to meet his lost sons and daughters once again after thousands of years. Aju, I would like to conclude by sharing with you what our beloved true mother said during the victory celebration last October 11. Mother said, I am not so young anymore. It is also true parents' mission to find and set up children through whom heavenly parent can freely work. That is why I said that it will be good if we can restore all 7.7 .7 billion people of the world by 2027. However, through the seven-year course, I became aware of the many barriers that need to be overcome. Hence, I am calling all families who have been inducted as Chonmo and all blessed families to work with me in restoring at least one-third of the human race. It is my sincere hope that by 2027, at the 60th Heavenly Parents Day, you will all be able to report to Heavenly Parent. Though our offering is insufficient, we did our best. Our beloved True Mother already proclaimed the second seven-year course until 2027. Already True Mother opened the era of the Heavenly Parents Holy Community. Already, our true mother gave us a very clear vision. That vision should also be our vision. And definitely ma many miracles will happen. How fortunate we are that we are living with our true mother on the earth as our true parents are carrying out the final stages of substantial channel group. Aju, this opportunity will never come again and will never be repeated in history. So, with this opportunity given to us, we should not lose this once in eternity opportunity that is given to us to directly participate in the fulfillment of our heavenly parents' dream of heavenly unified world, of a heavenly unified cosmos. If we fulfill this in our lifetime, Surely we can pass on to the spiritual world and be acknowledged, be recognized as noble, blessed families. This is also our true parents' wish for all of us. That's why even in the final prayer of our true father, he wished 
that all blessed families can victoriously accomplish their tribal Messiah mission on the earth. Adieu. We are indeed eternally grateful to our heavenly parent and true parents for this amazing grace given to us even though we are unworthy. So let us all receive the amazing grace through this Chonbo works and with amazing spiritual power let us become victorious in saving our expanding the realm of Chondilgu, the realm of heavenly treasures. Adieu. Thank you very much, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us give thanks to our heavenly parents and true parents. Kamsambinat.